President Biden is so confident that he and his son did nothing wrong, then they should release all the documents. Here's what the American people want to know. They want to know, know two things. How did these Ukrainian and China, Chinese and Russian companies who gave Hunter Biden bill, uh, millions of dollars get his name? Why him? I'm pretty sure they didn't get his name off ZipRecruiter. <laughs> uh, number two, what did Hunter Biden do for the money? Mm -hmm. Now, I think it's pretty clear that um, he appears to be selling influence. Was he successful? If he wasn't, why did they keep sending him millions and millions of dollars? Yeah. Those are fair questions. I and President Biden needs to answer them. His Justice Department needs to answer them. And members of the media need to keep asking the questions. Unfortunately, not all of them are. Senator, I get the sense that uh, a lot of them were over on Friday. The Russia thing was a, a justified huge distraction. Got it. Then you have the Trump tapes come out, a little bit of a distraction. But this is a big story because the other thing is the IRS. You can't make $17 million and not pay any taxes. I mean, where is this money? He gets, ta he gets fined for not paying tax on $1.5 million. But we're talking about tens of millions of dollars. $5 million was delivered to him within 10 days after that terse email on the WhatsApp that's been exposed and not refuted. How do you do an IRS investigation and not to tax anybody? Well, we have to find out. It's clear that the Justice Department let what's called the statute of limitations expire for some of Mr. Hunter Biden's more serious crimes. Mm -hmm. That means you, it's too late to file suit. Yeah. Uh, we have whistleblowers who have come forward. Uh, Attorney G General Garland, we haven't heard from FBI Director Ray, but Attorney General Garland says they're lying. Somebody's lying. Chris Ray is coming into the Senate, though. Of the Attorney General. Chris Ray is and, coming and in. And we need to, well, then we need to hear from, from the FBI director, and right. they need to produce the documents, come testify under oath, and to the extent that they're willing, the, the whistleblowers need to come. The American people need an answer. Yeah. Uh, let's talk a little bit about your day job in the Senate. Uh, the Senate uh, Secu mm -hmm. uh, Homeland Security De Committee, uh, the, the Democrat side, has released a report that says that in the run-up to January 6th, there were a number, number of intel agencies in the United States that had information that something bad was going to happen, and they did not act on it. What do you make of that? We haven't had an, an opportunity to have a real objective analysis of what happened on January 6th before and after. Mm -hmm. Um, what the Democrats in the House did was 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 basically a, a partisan car wreck. I mean, they they just we only got half of the information. Uh, Republicans were excluded. Um, there have been no attempts in the Senate by by uh, Senator Schumer. I, I think what we need is an objective look. Mm -hmm. if necessary, by some nonpartisan outside experts. The American people would like to know. Mm -hmm. um, but, but it's gotten so politicized. I, I mean, I was there on, on, on the 6th. It was an abomination. I'm sorry that it happened. I wish it hadn't happened. Right. But we're entitled to know, the American people, or why it happened. Mm -hmm. exactly. And if federal government had advance notice, and if so, why it wasn't better prepared? I, sure. I just don't think any of that's unreasonable, but it's all shot through with politics now. Yeah.